are you doing? You're gonna kill us. Will you just slow down? The guy jumped out in front of the car. Yeah, we're like on a roller coaster from hell here. Relax. I'm trying to get to know this person before we're dead. What? What are you? What are you, Mr. Pervert or something? Too much. Do you mind? Can we get a little privacy back here? Our please? cousin's a pervert. I'm interested in natural history. Yeah, well, just readjust the angle of the mirror. Yeah, Thank you. Know. <laughs> this is a cab, not a motel. Yeah, well, maybe we can pretend. All right, pretend. We're here. All right, we're here. Good night, everybody. Good night. Uh, two tickets to the uh, get the porno cartoon festival. We'll be right back. Okay. Why, why can't you talk to me now? I told you we got some business to take care of. This is what in the middle of the night? What are you talking about? It's middle of the night business. Look, I'm sorry. I'll be back in five, maybe ten, maybe twenty minutes. I love you. Polish that coat or Fighting. something. I love you. Let's go. Level with me. Level with me. All right. Come on, Whitey. I've been playing chauffeur all night tonight. Let's go. I want to cut to the action. What action? There's no action. Come on. There's got to be action. Joey, I told you there's no action. I'm just going to go see a guy. That's what guy? all. What guy? Just a guy. What guy? Just a guy. What's his name? His name is just a guy. You dumped Tina to go see it's just some guy? Tina. Come on, man. There's got to be some action. All I want is a taste. Joey, what I am I, Wayne Newton? Taste. I gotta feed the world. I deserve a taste. I've been like giving you free rides all Free rides? Is that what it is to you, money? Oh, no, no, no. You want nothing money? Nothing to do with money. Take can I don't want to take the can I don't want to take the can I don't care about you, can Turn over here, will ya? Nice car. I'll be right back. White, over here. Sorry I'm late, man. It's like a Russian appliance store in here. How you been keeping it? I bet. Yeah? Been up to. Not too much. I'm in a real hurry right now, though, man. I can't talk to you too long. Did you get the stuff? Yeah. Over there in the tool room. Tool room? Yeah, yeah. Where's us in the tool room? In the metal cabinet. You got some keys here or what? Which one? The little one. Little one? What is it? Got something else to show you. Well, I can't talk right now, man. I'm gonna okay, beat it out okay. here. Just have a look. Have a look. Man, I'm in a real hurry. I got my cousin parked out front here. You know what I'm saying? What are these? Well, what do they look like? Hubcaps? Emeralds, man. It's emeralds. I know that, man. I know that. Nice oh. stuff. These are beautiful, man. These are beautiful. And there's lots more where those came from. Where'd you get these? I cleaned out this little gem store up town. I didn't figure to get anything, anything like this. <laughs> I see one. Wow. This is pretty heavy stuff, man. I don't normally deal with this kind of stuff, you know? I'm like a five cent, ten cent kind of guy. Do me a favor, okay? See what you can do. See what I can do? I'm telling you, I don't know what to do with these. Hey, just do me a favor. Just ask around. I can lay the rest off on later tomorrow, okay? All right, look. I'll see if I can push a few of them. That's all I can do, all right? Thanks, man. I gotta go. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Hey. I'll appreciate it. Yeah. Clean up the place, will you? Really? I'll make it up to you. I'll call you
huh? Well, maybe I'll find my tape deck. Nah, these guys only boost stuff they can sell, Colby. Who'd want to buy your tape deck? Hey, man, that was a good tape deck. Yeah, maybe in 1959. 69, I ain't that old. <laughs> Looking for a new stereo? I can get you one cheap. But where does that stereo come from? When we think of organized crime, we think of casinos and million-dollar drug deals. But the real bread and butter of organized crime is a thousand rip-offs by a thousand small-time operators. Guys who only make the papers when they find themselves on the losing end of a big deal. Hey, Kev. Hey, Got your man? Not yet, but the whole place is full of hot stereos. Since when are they killing people over stereos? There's a lot more than music here, Tommy. What the hell is that? Emeralds. So you're not going to tell me anything? I already told you, man. You're better off not knowing anything. You're making a mistake, man. Maybe I can help you with this. Hey, I'm not making any mistake. You just think people are playing games here. I know, I know they're not playing games. I didn't think that was a firecracker contest back then. All right, either. so let's just drop it, all right? Here. What do you think those are worth? Joey. How much you think they're worth? Hey, let me take a couple of these to track, man. I know some guy. You know some guy? Yeah. Well, you just be careful who you show them to, okay? Let me take all of them, man. Just take a couple, man. How many people are gonna be buying emeralds at the track? Give me a break, will you? All right, all right, great. Just be careful who you show those to. Thanks, man. I'm gonna take care of it. Take care. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. So what do you figure that little baby's worth? Well, a polished top grade deep green stone's worth about $5,000 a carat. Well, that one's five carats easy. 25,000 bucks? Mm-hmm. There is a less expensive variety available that derives from corundum, but that one's a green barrel. You know, a silicate of beryllium and aluminum. Beryllium? Yeah, beryllium. It's used in light alloys for its resistance to corrosion and to uh, slow down neutrons emitted during nuclear fission. Mm, that's Freddy, pretty. <clears throat> you worry me, man. What? Why? Can't you ever just appreciate anything for what it is? Nuclear fission. Did you get anything on those stones? Nothing on file. Maybe they were lifted in the last day or two. That's why we haven't got anything on them yet. So, what about the dead guy? His name was Tony Kennell, 34, no longer counting. He was a B&E man, safecracker. Not a very good one. He had convictions in 74, 77, the last one in 82. He's not considered dangerous. And what's his uh, business with the machine shop? His parole officer got him a job about six months ago. I guess he was moonlighting. Oh, yeah, and one other thing. They gave us a rundown on known associates. And? He's a good friend of one Arthur Morelli. Whitey. Well, let's go give him the bad news. Colby, Carson, I want you to check out those emeralds. Find out where they came from, who brought them into town. Wholesalers, retailers, everything. I want you to check out tonight's log, see if there are any gem heists or jewel thefts. Right. Um, hey, Lieutenant, this is good on dark scan. You, you mind if I, um... You catalog them, and then you lock them up. Yes, sir. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> Scared me. What's that? Look, uh, you want to get another cab? I'm, uh, I'm on my break. You just got off it. You speak my language. I drink too much coffee anyway. Where are you going? Nowhere. I just need some information about a fare you picked up tonight from a machine shop. What are you, crazy? I don't give information about fares. Keep it. I only want to know where you drop him off. Oh, yeah? Why should I give you that? <laughs> I didn't say give me. Have you lost interest in money? I took him to the airport. International flight. He had bags? Yep. He had a lot of bags, as a matter of fact. Doesn't show in your trip log. It ain't there. I handed it into the dispatcher. I was knocking off. I find out you're jerking me around. I'll be back. I took him to the airport, all right? Honest.
3514, you have a fare at 13 Industrial Boulevard. Meet the man outside. Excuse me. I need some information. Call an operator. This makes a difference. Yes, ma'am. What do you want? Yes. Tonight's trip log in cap number 2941. That's Joey Sanza. He hasn't turned in a trip log tonight. He hasn't been on the radio. I, I think he went out with his cousin. This cousin? He's got a name? He's joined some kind of trouble? Could be. How about you? You seen Whitey around? Nothing. Nobody's seen him all night. He's always somewhere. What's going on? Well, maybe he took the night off. Yeah, maybe. All right, try him at home again. <laughs> okay, what are we gonna do? Huh? We can't wait for Whitey all night. There's a lot of people in here, Tony Kendall. All right, let's get to know a lot of those people. Hold on, hold on, I'm coming. Hello? 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 I gotta steal myself an answering machine soon. matter what yeah did you tell him anything all right look um give me give me, give me an hour okay just ca calm calm down man calm down please okay all right all right i'll talk to you soon bye bye Have him back yet? Not yet. Tell him I want to see him as soon as he gets back. Right. I've got a list from customs of all the jewelry shops that imported gems matching the weight, purity, and cut of the ones we found in the machine shop. How many? Five. And none of them reported a robbery? No. All right, Colby, Carson, look into them. Thanks. Hey. Hello. Hi. All right, the lieutenant would like to see you. You got something? The lab only pulled one clean set of prints from the machine shop. Arthur Morelli, your pal Whitey. Do you mind telling me what's going on around here? Well, it could be he's there picking up some merchandise. Bring him in. I want to know what the hell he was doing there. That might be a problem. Why? We looked for him, we couldn't find him. Well, you better look for him again, because right now he's all we got. I'm sorry, sir. We are closing now. You'll have to come back tomorrow. I'm afraid our business just won't wait. I'm late for an appointment already. This won't take long, Mr. Jordan. At ready. I think she would have called. Well, we were driving by. We thought we'd just pop in. Those diamonds are beautiful. Where are they from? South Africa, of course. They're very expensive. Look, if you would like to stop by tomorrow morning, I could show you my full selection. Actually, we're interested in emeralds. Do you handle emeralds, Mr. Jordan? Of course. I handle every kind of precious stone. Emeralds are very popular. Colombian emeralds? Of course, Colombian. That's where they come from. Well, there is an oriental variety, although it's somewhat less 
expensive. Did you know that emeralds rank right up there with uh, coffee and cocaine as one of Colombia's principal cash crops? How interesting. I would love to chat about it sometime. Do you? But right now. Have any now? I'm afraid not. Have you had any in recently? Yes, I'm sure I can't recall. What happened to these? That is your signature, isn't it? Received on October 16th. I can read, officer. Please. Then where are they? Uh, they were flawed. I send them back to my dealer. Mm -hmm. Meisterbein in Zurich. In Zurich. I presume you have documents to this effect? Somewhere. I have to look for them. Tomorrow morning. I'll tell you what, Mr. Jordan. It's almost morning in Zurich. Why don't we call your dealer and make sure he received the stones? Do you have the number handy? What are you getting at? You know damn well what we're getting at. The stones aren't in Zurich. We have them down at the police station. And they're not flawed. They're lovely. So what happens to the stones, Mr. Jordan? Either you tell us now, or we shall issue you a personal invitation to come down to the station. It's your choice. Say someone was looking pretty hard for something. Yeah, I wonder what they were looking for. Maybe they were looking for these. French wines are terribly overrated, don't you agree, Mr. Fernandez? I don't drink. How admirable. Brought the discs? Not yet, but um, where are they? Who has them? I'm not sure. There's this guy named Morelli. I don't want the details. I want the discs. I don't care how you get them. If you get me the discs, I'll get them. Do that. This is the real thing, Joey. We're not playing games here. You better give us everything you got. I already gave you everything I got. I told you I was supposed to meet him. He didn't show up, so I come up here, and he's not here. That's it. What about these emeralds? That's just some favor that I was doing for him. Some favor? He didn't tell you where he got them? No, he wouldn't tell me that. Whitey is in trouble. Big trouble. Well, maybe I should go find him. I'll tell him to come in. Come on, I don't want to see anything happen to him either. It is not that simple, Joey. These are connected to a homicide. What homicide? Did you hear about Tony Kendall? No. Well, he's a B and E man. They shot him tonight, and Whitey just happened to be there. Wait a minute, that's crazy. We got his fingerprints. He was there. Come on! You trying to tell me that Whitey did some guy? I am saying he was there. Come on, this is Whitey. He buys things, he sells things, he makes a living, but he don't steal and he don't kill people. I think we can finish this down at the precinct. Come on. No way! I'm gonna go get him. I know where to find him. All right, we're going with you. No, you'll spook him. Let me go in alone. Listen, I don't want him dead. Just let me do this by myself. Don't screw this up, Joey. Don't worry, I won't.
What do you want? You, what do you want? Your money back? I'll, I'll give it to you. I told you not to jerk me around. I didn't jerk you around. What do you want, man? I'll give it to you. Just tell me. Morelli. They call him Whitey? I never heard of anybody named Morelli. He is your cousin. Where is he? I don't know. You don't know? Have you seen what happens when you cut this vein? It's like, what do you call it? A geyser. You want to see? Look, I'll find him. I swear to God, I'll find him, all right? Find him quick. He's got something that doesn't belong to him, and I want it back. Roman court. One hour. He better be there. All right. Otherwise, I'll find you again, Joy. Pretty good at saying nothing. I'm feeling he's been through it all before. Kevin, I checked out the security company that services Jordan's store. Talked to a guy named Dick Oletta. Now, he repaired a broken alarm at the Pearl Boutique about a week ago. A new alarm and new lock system. And he said he had a um, break-in. But it was never reported. Not to the police. Well, why wouldn't I report the police? Maybe he doesn't want to sniff around his shop. You guys get a good look around? No drug labs in the basement, no brothels in the attic. A nice, clean, respectable business. Well, maybe it wasn't the shop, maybe it was him. Well, we're checking for priors. What about Whitey? We're looking for him. What's taking so long? He's running scared. He just dropped out of sight. Doesn't look good for him. What are you saying? You think he killed this Tony Kendall guy, Jim? Come on. I didn't say that. All I know is that I got a dead body, and I got Whitey connected with some stolen emeralds. And I happen to identify Whitey's prints at the scene of the crime. And all of a sudden, Whitey's nowhere to be found. Well, we'll find him. Two blondes and a bottle of champagne. That's what Whitey said would always be his idea of paradise. <laughs> Sounds a little boring. Yeah, I suppose you could get sick of champagne. No, 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 Frankie. I meant boring for the girls. <laughs> he is not a jewel thief. He is not a killer. I've known this guy for years. You could be married to the same person for years. One day, get up, go out for a package of cigarettes, and never come back. <laughs> What's that have to do with anything? Besides, it sounds a little cynical, Tom. It's not cynical. It has everything to do with everything. Let's look at the way this guy lives, huh? Spends most of his time out on the street. Sees a lot of deals go by, money changing hands. He's thinking to himself, why not me? Why can't I have a piece of the action? And one day, his chance comes along and maybe he goes for it. Like that. Human nature. Huh? Maybe Whitey just went for it. Sounds great, Tommy. You gonna put that in your column tomorrow? No, I'm just speaking generally. It's nothing personal against Whitey. Well, for the record, he is wanted for questioning in connection with a homicide investigation, and we are trying to find him, period. So... It's nothing personal to you either, huh? Yeah, of course it's personal. Look, he helped us make a lot of cases. Most of the time, he didn't have a choice. But there were times when he could have walked away and been safe doing it. But he didn't. So, yeah, it's personal. And this is also a homicide investigation. And for me, that's personal, too. Thanks. Touchy subject. It's, uh, it's gonna be hard on him if he has to arrest Whitey. We're in big trouble, man. I know that much already, man. Thank you. Give me a scam on Tony Kendall. Who killed him? What are you asking me for? You were there. I took him his key. Some guy jumped up with a very big gun and blew him away. Did he have a stupid hat on? Yeah, yeah, he did wear a hat. And that's the guy. He cut me on the neck, and he said he wants the meat, man. He wants the stones back. Oh, well, man, I'm sorry. It's all right. Listen, I just think that we should take this whole thing to O'Brien, man, and get oh, him off our back. Forget He's it. your friend. Hey, well, not if he believes I did it. Give me a break. He's a cop, first and last, right? Yeah. I mean, well, what's he going to do? He's going to lock me up in a kennel. Forget it. I'd rather take my chances on the street. Man. You got no chances on the street. The guy will cut your liver out. He's got to find me first, man. 
Well, he knows where to find me. That's my point. All right, look, we just give him back everything we got. That's it. What do you mean, we? Well, you said he knows where to find you, right? Well, yeah, but listen, I think I, I would like to get out now. Oh, give me a break, man. You've been bugging me to want in all along, right? Well, now you're in. All right. Yeah. Anything yet? Nothing. Talked to his girlfriend, said he dropped her off at a theater earlier tonight, and he hasn't seen her since. Whitey's got a girlfriend? Yeah, can you believe it? Nice girl, too. Her name is uh, Tina Conti. I think she's kind of worried about him. Anybody got any other theories besides Whitey's love life? Here's one. Tony and Whitey rip off the emeralds from the Pearl Boutique. Jordan doesn't want anyone to know that the stuff is missing, so he hires a goon to handle it. Something goes wrong. Tony gets killed, and now Whitey's on the run. How's that? And Jordan doesn't want the emeralds back now because that would link him to Tony's death. Hmm, but the question is, why didn't Jordan report the robbery in the first place? And besides that, you're assuming that Whitey was involved in a serious B&E, and that is hardly his style. Life has changed, Kevin. Some stuff came through from Interpol about our Mr. Jordan. All that? Hmm. Mr. Jordan attempted to deceive us, gentlemen and lady. Uh, turns out he does not own the Pearl Boutique. It is actually owned by the Chang King Corporation, which in turn is owned by a Dr. Magnus Gold. Who the hell is Dr. Magnus Gold? Well, I'm glad you asked. According to my sources at Interpol, he is either a respected businessman, an international arms dealer, or a dope smuggler. All-purpose son of a bitch, depends on your point of view. So who's Jordan? Jordan is his main man and troubleshooter for the last 15 years in Africa, Hong Kong, Colombia, and other exotic places like that. So why is he running a little gem shop in the Regency Arcade? And that is a good question. Dr. Gold, gentlemen, has a place on the Post Road. Let's pay a call on Dr. Gold. your friend. Listen, he, could, he couldn't make it, so he asked me just to give you that. That's it, okay? Where's the rest of the stuff? What? Where's the rest of the stuff? That's all I got! Man, that's all he gave me, I swear to God, that's it. Listen, I'll spell it out for you. When your pal took the stones, there was another box in the safe, right? That's what I want. I'm gonna give you one last chance. You tell him to get the stuff fast. Okay, okay. Okay? Thank you, thank you very much, thank you. Or next time I'll find you, I want action. Relax, okay? Relax? What do you keep telling me? I took some to... stones. That's all I got. What? The guy was doing a Zorro on my face, man. Yeah. You gotta come clean with me. You trying to calm this cat? Look, I got some stones. I got a bunch of tapes. I got... I got these keys here. Well, maybe that's it. Windsor Station. All right, so it's a locker at the station. train station. All that's right. the only thing it could be. jewelry store. Yes, as a matter of fact, I do own it. Mm -hmm. well, that's kind of funny. I mean, you're into shipbuilding, oil, munitions, and this little gem shop. Well, it's not one of my larger concerns. It uh, merely reflects my weakness for gems. You know, many people think they have therapeutic value, but personally, 
I just like the sparkle. You are aware the store was broken into, hmm? Is that what this is about? Some emeralds were stolen. Well, gentlemen, you just have to speak to the manager of the shop. His name is Bruce Jordan. I'm sure he can tell you everything you need to know. Yeah, we've met Mr. Jordan. Interesting guy. Interesting background. Kind of strange for him to be working in a jewelry store. Bruce shares my love of gemstones. Look, gentlemen, I'm a very busy man. If you have something to say, please say it. Otherwise, I have business to attend to. Oh, by the way, Dr. Gold, the emeralds are at the Mid-South Precinct, if you'd care to claim them. I can't right now. I'm in a hell of a lot of trouble right now, okay? So just listen to me. What so, is this? I don't know. I'm kind of hoping you can tell me. going on around? Yo, Eddie, right. listen, man, we need to use the computer, okay? Are you crazy? I'd lose my job if anybody touched that. Come on, man, it's not a high-paying job. Do me a it? favor, will you, Eddie? Yeah, come on, look, Tina here is a professional computer operator, okay? A couple Perfect. minutes, okay? A couple minutes tops, swear. Are you in some kind of trouble? There was a cop looking for you. Uh, must be some unpaid parking tickets. Open that door, will you? Thanks, man. Hey, man, O'Brien must be looking for me. Look, we got a lot more to worry about than O'Brien. Come on, we don't got a lot of time. Give me that thing. Oh, let's get a handle it. Just give me Come a Come on, we got two weeks training. Can we take advantage of it here, please? Here, here, here. Just don't make it explode or anything. This is what you wanted me for, isn't it? Well, we'll talk about it later. Look, I'm sorry to drag you into this, okay? Yeah, look, who is this guy and why is he trying to kill you? Tina, I don't know. That's what we're trying to find out. Just get it up on the screen, please. It looks like a payroll. Huh? A payroll. Look, you see, you got, you've got names, you've got a bunch of coded stuff over here, you've got telephone numbers. International phone numbers. Look at this. This looks a lot like the payroll at our office. Oh, 200000 300000 $600,000. Man, this My is a God. huge scam. This is great. And Tony thought he was dealing with emeralds? Emeralds? Yeah, that's how the whole thing started. Tony was trying to fence some emeralds. Oh, man, this is amazing. Look at this. Look at this. We are going to make a fortune on this. What are you talking about? This is great. We have a payroll for a major smuggling operation. We can make a fortune. You know how much people are going to pay us to get this thing back? Wait a minute. I thought we were turning this into O'Brien. That's right, Whitey. You're going to take this stuff into O'Brien right now, and you're going to tell him what's going on. Are you guys nuts? This is like a major thing. Do you know how much money we can make on this? Get real, Whitey. Are you losing it? We're not talking about selling a bunch of hot stereos here. This is blackmail. Blackmail? You know, you have Come. done some stupid things in your life, but this one really takes the cake. Use your hey, don't head. Don't call me stupid, okay? I'm telling you right now. This is a finder's fee. All right? You find something valuable, you give it to somebody, they give you a major reward for it. Don't cheat me out of my big thing. Finder's <laughs> fee? Man, these guys kill people. What, they did Tony? You don't think they'll do you? You guys don't want to do this? No! no. Okay. All right, fine. All right. Don't borrow money from me again. Fine. Okay? Fine. I gave you a chance to get rich here. I'll take the tape in myself, too. No, 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 I don't think so. Look, you guys don't want to get in any more trouble? Let me handle it, all right? I'm just trying to save you some trouble here, okay? you want? Here you go. 
Relax, relax. It's okay. Dumb son of a bitch. What the hell ever made you think you could steal from me? Hey, man, I'm just a wacky kind of guy. What can I tell you? Start with the stomach, Hugo. Hey, wait, 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 wait a minute. Hey, man, hold on here. You don't understand, all right? Anything happens to me, man, I made copies of those discs, okay? Don't, don't mess with me, man. Now, listen. I want you to round up every copy you made, every copy you even thought of making. You bring them to the Pro Boutique by 5 o'clock. You got that? All right, man, so I bring you the discs, and then what, huh? You gonna set this guy on me again here, huh? I'm a man of my word. You just have to trust me. Yeah. I guess I will, huh? And Morelli, play any more games with me. I mean anything. You're dead. Do you trust him? <laughs> What do you think? Hey, Kirkwood, where's O'Brien? He's looking for you. What do you mean he's looking for me? Hey, Colby, Carson, hey, where the hell's O'Brien? He's out looking for you. I'm out looking for him. He is scouring the streets looking for you. You're in trouble. I think you're under arrest. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah, OK. What's he doing here? I'm looking for O'Brien. Why are your hands up? He arrested me. Oh, that's, uh, that's good work, Colby. Where'd you find him? Standing right there. Whitey, where in the hell have you been? Where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. You were looking for us? That's right, man. I got something for you. Up from the discs. Gold's whole smuggling operation. Customs officials, brokers, buyers, fences in 15 or 20 countries. You name it, it's there. Yeah, this is what they really wanted from Tony, not the emeralds. We circulate a list like this, and gold smuggling operation goes right down the drain. And he was keeping it all in that little gem shop? Well, he wouldn't want anything this incriminating in his home. Well, Jordan's his right-hand man. The shop should have been the safest place for it. Yeah, well, should have been's never taken Whitey into account. All right, Whitey. When we go after gold, things are going to get pretty hot for you. What does that mean? Well, what he means by that is that your testimony is absolutely necessary to, to tie gold into all of this. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I'm not, I'm not testifying. I didn't say I was going to testify. Look, Whitey, from the time we arrest gold to the time we convict him, there's a lot of ways you can get hurt. I don't care. I'll take my chances. I'm not testifying. I didn't say I would testify. It's either that or you take a chance and you take the rap for this whole thing. What? What are you talking about? I'm not taking any rap. I thought we were supposed to be friends here. You want a free walk on this one? You come on our side. Hey, I, uh, this is my city. I live here. I mean, where, where am I supposed to go where gold's not going to find me? He's going to find me everywhere I go, so you tell me, where am I going to go? Look, Whitey, we'll take care of it. You're going to be safe. Oh, hey, you want to make me safe? Just just put the cycle away. I'll be happy with that. He'll be out on bail before his fingerprints are dry. Whitey, we got nothing without your testimony. Hey, what about all I did for you, O'Brien? This is it? It's two-way street, man. family here, man. I mean, I just can't. Uh... Oh, jeez. Okay, um... All right, look. Gold's gonna be at that store at around 5 o'clock, right? So that means we've got at least some time I can go to my place, I can still pick up some stuff that I want before I have to go, right? We'll take you there. 
and I want to pick the city I go to, and I want it to be ducked in Cleveland or something, all right? Colby, Carson, I want all the available units on the move. Great. Hey, we better call the commissioner. It looks like this is going to shake a few trees. <laughs> Won't shake any trees, Christine. It will knock them down. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I'm sure you're not going to miss this place. Why don't you guys make yourselves at home? I'll grab this bag. I'm going to pack some stuff. I'll be right back. Hey, witness protection or not, Jambo, and maybe you can pack this stuff up and leave it at your house for me, huh? Whitey, I thought you just said you needed a few things. What are you doing, packing a bed? Hey, Whitey, are you still awake? Answer the man. Careful. I'll be out in a second there, uh, Shambone. Why don't you and Jake just grab a couple of beers? I'll be right there. Smart boy. Let's go. Cole, he's down in the car. It's over, Mr. Gold. Stooley, Squealer, Rat. There are a lot of nasty names for a guy like Whitey. Names that wise guys use. Names that cops use, too. But the relationship between cops and their informants usually isn't simple enough to distill into one word. This time, it's different. This time, the word is friend. Oh, a couple more and that's it. Well, I gotta be honest. It'll be nice going somewhere where there's a little more sun, huh? Nobody's shooting at you. Ah. You don't even know what the sun looks like, Whitey. Yes, I do. I've seen pictures. It's a big round thing with flames on it. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're gonna miss the old neighborhood, buddy. Oh, yeah. Crime, mugging, rape. I'm gonna miss it a lot. Look, as long as gold's in town, I don't want to be here, man. Besides, I've got a van, a wacky little space chick here, and, uh, <laughs> and I love her very much. Better get going, Whitey. Yeah. All right, well, Larry, Curly Mole, I hate to say it, but, uh... No, I'm not gonna miss you. I'd be lying. But I'll be thinking about you. Life's gonna be a lot easier around here without you, Whitey. Oh, come on, man. A week without me, you're gonna lose your job. Still holding up, man. I don't know how you do it. All right. Good luck. See ya.